This is the broadcast of Back Roads of Illinois. We are bringing latest agricultural news and markets update on Back Roads of Illinois. Bring you like inside of the markets and interview with people in the agricultural industry for farmers and ranchers in central Illinois and across the Midwest. Today is edition of Back Roads of Illinois. We were Central Illinois Agriculture Source and in the Midwest alongside in Central Illinois Agriculture we were glad you are here on a Monday afternoon. We were talking about the corn harvest in southern Minnesota and South Dakota. We were talking about that with Kent Beals from Paradigm Futures. And we were talking to Jerry Guy Dell from Midland Research in Chicago. We were watching for the harvest progress is completely done in central Illinois. Otherwise, this harvest season is completely done in central Illinois near Peoria between Bloomington as well. This is your agricultural news and markets update sponsored by AgriGold for central Illinois and Kyle Bumstead from Allendale Incorporated. The cattle placement was coming out on last Friday. Here's the numbers on the report is 11. 6 million per head less than the September report. Potential customers are declining for buying beef with the prices for inflation especially right now with the economy. We were coming in one week to go with the election. Some farmers are concerned about their responses to the task of tariffs proposed by Trump or Harris. Pete Meyer from Mudiac, he said that former President Trump grossal tariff is bad for soybean production for U.S. farmers. This harvest season is coming in to close in the Midwest alongside in central Illinois. Thanks to the beautiful weather in central Illinois. This been your agricultural news on back roads of Illinois, sponsored by AgriGold. We were talking to Ken Beadle from Paradigm Futures. This is the open numbers of the commodity markets from Kyle Bumstead from Allendale and Corn Futures are down at 8 to 10 cents. Soybean Futures are down at 4 to 5 cents. Wheat Futures are down to 4 to 6 cents near the quarter. This is your Livestock Markets Update sponsored by Kyle Bumstead from Allendale Incorporated. Cattle futures are up at 5 to 10 cents. Feeder cattle are up at 3 to 4 cents. Lean hogs are up at 9 to 10 cents. Crude oil are up to 9 to 5 cents per barrel. Dow Jones are up at four points. We are talking about the corn harvest in southern Minnesota and South Dakota in northwest Iowa near Sioux City area. Well, we were watching for the presidential election with our shipping to the beans to China. However, soybean purchased from Mexico for last week from the Department of Agricultural. We were talking about it with Ken Beadle from Paradigm Futures in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Yes, I'm ready to discuss those uh, topics. And Beetle, let's start with our discussion on the purchases of the beans to China. 
However, Trump want to put tariffs again might well, however, what's in your mind about this purchase? The Chinese have been fairly active purchasing U.S. soybeans for about eight weeks now. And uh, at the beginning of harvest, the Chinese were well behind their normal pace of purchases from the U.S., but over these last eight to 10 weeks, they've bought a lot of U.S. beans and they've caught up to a normal pace for this time of year. We believe that the Chinese are going to continue to buy U.S. beans for as long as the time that U.S. soybeans are cheaper than Brazilian beans. And we believe that'll be until probably middle of January. Now, we don't know who's going to win the election, but if President, uh, former President Trump wins the election, what we do know is that the inauguration isn't going to be until January, and that's the period of time when Brazilian beans start to be cheapest. So we think that if, if uh, any countervailing tariffs from the Chinese do occur, it will be a bigger issue for the 2025-2026 marketing year. I saw the purchase of 133,500 metric tons of corn and beans from Mexico. What is your thoughts about that? Mexico has been... Uh, our largest buyer of corn and they have purchased um oh somewhere in the neighborhood of four million tons of corn just in the last couple of weeks uh we have also been active sellers of corn to japan uh, to south korea and to a category known as unknown destinations um we believe that the reason that corn sales are so strong is that corn prices are cheaper than costs of U.S. production. And world end users know that this corn price is a bargain and unsustainable for the long term. So we expect for as long as corn prices stay inexpensive, that our corn sales are going to remain strong. Iowa. Uh, percentage complete harvest completed is likely now in the 80 to 85 or even 90 percent area. Most of our clients across the Midwest uh, have either finished their corn harvest or will be finishing in the next couple of days. Let's go with the livestock markets. Ken, we are watching for the lean hogs markets. How is concerned about this lean hogs for right now? The uh, lean hog market has been exceptionally strong. It has uh, rallied for the better part of nine to 10 consecutive weeks. Um, we are seeing margins for hog producers at some of the highest levels for this time of year. Uh, this is These are the second highest margins uh, in the last 20 years. Uh, we're somewhat surprised at the strength in the hog market, but cash hog uh, trade has been better than expected. The, the, the hog, uh, the pork cutout market has been very strong as of late. And the hog prices are trying to keep up with high cattle prices uh, as we've had extraordinarily high cattle prices now for the better part of the last year. How is the cash market in Upper Midwest and in the Dakotas? 
Cash markets are holding together well. And uh, uh, livestock producers are seeing that they are getting better returns than they likely penciled into their break-even analysis uh, when they bought their uh, when they bought their feeder pigs. Do you have any final thoughts or recap of our conversation? I I would just note that uh, that futures prices today were defensive primarily because of lower energy prices, and uh, those lower energy prices had to do with the situation in the Middle East and the fact that Iranian oil production was left uh, spared by the Israelis and the attacks over the weekend. And uh, the lower uh, crude oil and diesel fuel is what put pressure on, uh, on the grain markets today. Where people can find you for your consulting services in the Midwest? Yes, we... Um, we can be reached uh, or found at uh, www.paradigmfutures.net uh, and all our uh, contact information is on that website. Thanks, Kent. Thank you very much. That's Kent Beals from Paradigm. Get the most for every acre with AgriGold Seeds for your field. You can visit our website at AgriGold.com or call your local retail dealer today. AgriGold Choose Seeds for Central Illinois. January feeder cattle dollar one dot three two five closing at dollar two four six dot nine five zero December live cattle dollar plus one hundred and twenty five closing at dollar one eight nine dot two seven five December lean hogs dollar plus zero point nine five closing at dollar eight zero dot six two five December corn minus four single quote for closing at four dollars and ten cents single quote six January soybeans minus eleven single quote for closing at nine dollars and eighty six cents single quote zero December Chicago wheat minus ten single quote to closing at five dollars and fifty eight cents single quote six December KC wheat minus 10 single quote for closing at $5 and 61 cents single quote for closing quotes provided by Kyle R. Bumstead Branch Office Manager Erickson, Nebraska Allendale, Incorporated the risk. Mm. Thanks to our friends from Allendale for bringing the final numbers of trade. Thanks to Kent Beals and Jerry Guidel from Midland Research in Chicago. Otherwise, we're running out of time on our show, but you can listen to our show on YouTube. And whenever you get your podcast, The Spin Back Roads of Illinois, I am Caesar Delgado. Have a good day.